we get so wrapped and captured by the business of life. What I call the business of life mean the daily taking care of things and doing tasks and responding to situations and dealing with all practical things which are all necessary and needed. But for most people, it eclipses what's it for? Why do you do all of that? What's the point of it? Is it just to survive? survival and having a reasonably comfortable life is what we want. You don't need a path. You can just get a good job, a good education, and live in society like everybody else. You'll be fine. But we're here because obviously we found out that doesn't do it. But many of us are here, we can realize we, that doesn't do it, but this, the, the path becomes an additional thing, another project we take in our life. And instead of seeing no, it is the, the core of our life, the primary project, all other things are subordinate and supportive to the primary project, the primary endeavor of knowing what we are and living the true life. So I'm emphasizing the importance of continuing to practice, continuing to inquire, to continuing to meditate, to continuing to be true and honest and sincere and curious and dedicated and, uh, and to work through whatever issues we have, whatever thing that obstruct us from being free and learning about reality. The path basically brings about freedom and liberation to simply learn. Learn what reality can be. And we're constrained in our learning capacity because of many things. And these are to be worked out, to be understood and through the understanding they will tend to lighten up and dissolve and clear the way for reality to reveal its possibilities for us.